All right, guys, what's up? I'm going to re-go over this real quick. So I've had a request to uh, talk about the supply scenario worksheet. Just a few things, so I'll go over two scenarios to help out a little bit. Um, just to show you how I use deductive reasoning to walk through it, because sometimes when we hear certain things, it triggers our brain to think something else. But if we just stick to the logic that we're understanding, then it tends to make it a little easier. Um, so let's look at scenario three right now. Uh, it says the price of feed for milk cows drops to a new low. Uh, so initially, when you think that you see drops and your mind is triggered to think negative, right? It's dropping, it's decreasing. Um, it's actually not when we reread it. So remember, think cost and think profit. Uh, the price of feed for milk cows drops. So now instead of paying a dollar a cow, I pay 25 cents to feed the cow. So I have a savings of what? A dollar minus 25 cents is 75 cents. I've saved 75 cents each cow feeding. That's a good thing, right? That's a positive, so we know that. So with that said, cost has gone down, profit has gone up. So that tells us we're going to have a positive shift. So if we look at that, the orange line then would become the new one, S1 or however you want to label it, would be that way, and it's shifting to the right, so we know that. Uh, let's go down and let's look at another one. Excellent. Let's do six here. Okay. Uh, scenario six. So in an effort to lower the price of milk, the government provides a subsidy to milk producers. Um, when you see this, you think subsidy, you're like, oh, God, what subsidy? Subsidy is, think of it like a way to make things a little more fair, make things a little more equal. Um as like a head start you could think of, like if you're running a race, a 100-yard dash, you would give someone a 20-yard head start to help them. And it would help them, absolutely. In this sense, what it's saying is the government basically wants the price of milk to be lowered so that way more people can afford it. Now, is that bad as a producer? Yes, it is, because we want top price because we know that as price goes up, quantity goes up, therefore I make more based on the principal rule of supply that you can see down below with the two blue arrows. However, the price is lowered. It's bad for us, but the government is going to come in and give us a subsidy, meaning they're going to give us some help. Because we're lowering it, they're going to help us. So instead of us having to incur that cost of being lowered because we're lowering prices down, which we would lose money, they're going to give us a subsidy to make up for that difference. So it's actually a good thing because now we have an increased quantity or people are going to be buying we're not losing money by lowering the price because the government's going to give us a subsidy. So in that sense, we're actually getting more. Seems tricky in that one. I, I understand. But so that would be, let's see if we can get this correctly there. Excellent. That would still be a right move there. So the orange one, right move, we mean a positive shift in that one. Even though it may seem like how the price is being lowered, you said that's bad because prices, we don't want them to go lower. In this sense, it is because we're actually increasing our quantity. So it seems like a trick question, but it's not. Um, let's go do one more. I have time, so I think it should make the five-minute one there. Mm, where did I go with it? Sorry. Uh, let's talk about this one, the price of cheese here. So let's, use, let's actually use this graph for scenario five that you can see there. Uh, so the price of cheese, which several milk producing firms also produce increases. So the price of cheese, okay, and firms also produces increase. Okay, let's read this so that way we can do this together. Okay, so it says, for scenario five, if the price of cheese were to increase, firms would likely shift some production from milk to cheese as a result of the price change, thus shifting the milk supply curve to the left. If we think about it, right? You're like, uh, that doesn't make any sense. It will. Yes, cheese and milk are the same thing, but they're different products. So therefore, I have to shift my production from milk to cheese. Therefore, it's going to cost more. It's going to be probably more difficult for me to set things up, right? Um, so what that would be is that would actually be a negative shift. Although it may make me money in the long run, it's actually going to end up costing us more. So the green arrow would reflect, I'm sorry, let me get out of that. The green arrow reflects the new shift to the left in that one. Now let's go back to the bottom. So again, the real principle of supply you got to understand is you have to understand that as price goes up, quantity goes up as well. 
That's the real way to understand it. Same way with cost is the opposite. So as costs go up, my profits tend to go down. And the opposite is, as costs go down, my profits go up. And our whole goal as a supplier, as a producer, is to make money. So we want our price to be up, we want our profit to be up. Therefore, we can have more and we can make more. And that's how you think like a producer. So any questions you have, leave them for me. I'm free to answer. Always here to help.